All right, so in this video, I'm going to go over how to clean up some of the things that are pre-installed on our website. And then we're going to dive into the settings tab on the left side, because I believe it's one of the more important parts or more important tabs on our WordPress site and in the WordPress dashboard. So in here, we can make changes to the time zone we're in, the date format, site title, tagline. We can choose what our home page displays, whether it be a blog or a static page. And you can edit discussion sections and you can set permalink structure, which is very important. And if you don't know what all that means, I'm going to get into that here in this video after we clean up the site a little bit here first. So let's dive in. So when we get back here in the dashboard, we're going to have a lot of things that are pre-installed on the theme. So let's just go to post first here. We can see it says hello world. And hello world is just a default post that really doesn't mean anything. It's just showing you that there's a post and you're starting with your WordPress site. I'm going to click trash on that. And then I'm going to go to trash and I'm going to make sure to delete it permanently. And now there are no posts here. If we click on post again, there's nothing in here. So that cleans up that. If we go down to comments, we can do the same thing. If there's any comments in here, we can delete them as well. In the pages section, you can do that. I'm going to delete the sample page here. And I'm just going to go to trash again and delete permanently. Again, if we click on pages here, now we're going to just be left with this privacy policy. I'm going to leave that for this tutorial here. You are going to need to have a privacy policy on your website in general going forward due to changes that have been occurring within WordPress. So if we go down here, we can go to appearance and then themes. And here's where we change this to this theme right here, this 2017 theme. And you can actually go through and delete old ones if you want. You can click on where it says theme details and delete here in the lower right corner. And then you're going to confirm to delete it. And then it goes away. Now you only can have one set as active. So let's just say I want to activate the 2019 theme. I'll do that. Then I can click on theme details in 2017 and delete. OK. And now we're left with just the 2019 theme. I'm going to get into how to add and find good themes and show you the difference between premium and free themes as we go throughout this course. Let's now just go to the plugin section. We'll clean this up and I'm going to select both of them by clicking up here under bulk app actions. And then I'm going to just go to delete since they're both already deactivated and I'll click apply and OK. And now if we go to plugins, there's nothing in a plugin section. So we clean that up as well. And now let's just go down to the settings where I wanted to show you about the settings page here. So as I mentioned earlier, where it says my blog, my WordPress blog, let's refresh this to have the new look site on here, the 2019. If you wanted to change that, you could change that right here where it says site title. And let's just say I wanted to make this be WP Fundamentals. And the tagline would be let's learn WordPress together. Now, I will say that it's important for search engine optimization that you have something in your site title or tagline here that describes your website and your intent of what you're trying to rank for. So let's say you have a local business where you have a hardware store. Maybe you could say the best hardware store in Newtown or whatever their town name is. And that's where you would maybe put that in the tagline. Or if you have a specific phrase that you want to rank for, that is where you probably want to put that. And you could put the name of your site here in the site title. It's going to display at the top here. So you want to be aware of that, that this does actually matter. And your audience is going to see that. Down here, you can change things like your language, your time zone. I'm in, I think it's minus five. And then if we go over here, you can change the clock settings, how the date is set up with the format, if you would like. You can choose when the week starts. And when we're happy with that, you can just hit save changes and the settings are now saved. If we go over to writing, there's some options in here. I don't think you really have to worry too much about these because you can edit the different formats later as we go through these. If we go to reading down here, here you can see how many blog pages are shown at most. I like to only have like five of them shown, maybe like six or seven. And then the syndication feed shows. I'm going to leave that as 10. Here is where you'd want to know that if you have this box checked here, it's going to be hard for Google or other search engines to rank your website because you're discouraging search engines from indexing the site. Your website needs to be indexed into Google, which means it needs to be 
found in Google or show in Google that you want to be found for certain search terms that you're trying to rank for. So you definitely want to leave this box unchecked if you're trying to rank your website in Google and other search engines. It's almost good to do this if you're having like a practice site that you don't want anyone to find out about or something like that. So I'm gonna save the changes as is here. And then we can go down to discussion. Here there are a lot of different options in the discussion area. Something that you might wanna do is where it says email me whenever anyone posts a comment. I like to leave it as a comment is held for moderation. And then you can change it to be like, a comment must be manually approved before a comment appears. You could choose hold a comment in the queue if it contains one or more links. So there's different things that you can change here. If you choose to not display avatars, that can actually help your website as far as speed goes, especially when you're looking at things like emojis and things like that. So I'm going to just save the changes. If you want to have avatars, that's fine. It's not going to make a huge difference in site speed. If we go down here to media, you can change the defaults for uploading files. I'm going to leave these as is. Down here, permalinks. Now, this is one of the most important ones. You would want to choose where it says post name to make it the most search engine optimized. So let's say you have a web page and, it call, and it's talking about WordPress blogging. So it would be displayed here as HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash WP fundamentals and then the page or P for post equals one, two, three. So down here, this would display it as wpfundamentals.com slash WordPress hyphen blogging. You can display it as this, and if people actually know what you're talking about rather than having some random archive numbers or random post numbers or the date and a post and a date and a post, this just will say the name of what you're talking about, WordPress blogging, for example, here. So it's way better to have this for search engine optimization and just making a better user experience for people that are trying to find the right articles on your site. So I'm just gonna click Save Changes. And down here is Privacy. You can create a new privacy page or use the page that they have created here within the Pages section. As I said, to be compliant with international rules, you need to have a privacy page now and let people know what kind of data or what kind of data you're not collecting. So it's important to have this privacy page and that would be found here in settings privacy down here. So that about wraps up the settings tab here on the left side. The next tab that I'm gonna dive into is up here where is the media tab. So let's dive into this section next.